to the Toyota Halftime. Let's go places. All right, so the Ravens are up 10-3 at the half on top of the Chargers. Welcome back inside the studio. Maria Taylor alongside Devin McCourty and Chris Sims. And we had an instant classic in South Philly today. So let's get you straight to it. It was pouring down rain. Third quarter, Josh Allen taking it all by himself. Josh Allen was phenomenal. Led his team in rushing like he does most weeks right here. But great job running, getting in the end zone. And Buffalo, 24-14, looks like they're controlling the game. Yeah, Bill's trying to get an answer here. Allen, though, was intercepted in the fourth quarter. Really is his one mistake in this game. He's going to get so much criticism. But he was phenomenal all game with that interception in a clutch moment. Ooh. But it gives an opportunity for Philly to take yeah. advantage. Oh, you let this guy extend plays like this, gets outside the pocket, he keeps his eyes down the field, find Zacchaeus in the back of the end zone, and you're going, uh-oh, Eagles never die, here that they was, come. That was unbelievable. That was. Right there. Bradley, Bradley Cooper. Cooper is like two best friends anyone could have. <laughs> Third and four, Allen's not done yet. Gabe Davis for the touchdown. I mean, he fires this thing into Gabe Davis, the rain, everything. Diggs, I don't know, it might be a little yeah, too early. Too early. early. For the fly, Eagle Don't do fly. It. Okay. <laughs> All right, it does set up a 59-yard field goal for Jake Elliott to tie it. It is good, which is going to send us into overtime. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining. The, the Bills what? missed two field goals during the game. Okay, the Bills will get the ball first here. Okay, they're facing third and nine. Allen running again. Pump fake, pump fake. Pump. Oh, I got you. <laughs> now he's around the corner. I mean, he does this week in and week out. You know in the media room they say, don't go for the pump fake, but it's so hard. Uh -huh. <laughs> you wouldn't have never gone. Yeah, <laughs> right. Uh, Allen looking for Gabe Davis. Miscommunication? Here? Missed opportunity. I don't know. Allen looks like he expected him to go straight. Davis goes to the corner. Either way, it's incomplete. And now we know a touchdown wins it for Philly. Yeah, Hurts finding Smith. He did that all night. 17 yards across midfield. He had 106 yards. And then it's Hurts looking for A.J. Brown. It's a big moment right here. Yep. Devin and I were watching this going, wait. You know, they call this incomplete on the field, and I think that's what saves Philly here. Yes. They called this complete fumble. I think you and I both agree that that probably would have Buffalo could have got their first win. Uh-huh, but it sets up this, the quarterback draw. I mean, he's so calm, he's so clutch, and he gets into the end zone, he goes, it's me. Y'all know me, Philly. <laughs> All right, well, look at that. Two of the most dynamic quarterbacks in the NFL showing up and showing out. Allen also led his team in rushing, accounted for four touchdowns. Jalen was second on his team in rushing, accounted for five touchdowns. Let's go back to that game-winning touchdown by Jalen Hurts and what you guys saw on the play. Yeah, Buffalo, aggressive defense is that point in the game. You know you kick the field goal. you got to be aggressive. So right here, the best thing Buffalo does is they love to disguise. So you see right here we pause it. The safeties are high. This looks like a regular defense. Looks like Not coverage. much pressure. Yeah, right. coverage defense. Then you play it a little longer, and you see right now they're in an all-out blitz zero. He has the back right here. He's here. He's here. He has a tight end. He's man to man. Philadelphia now sees that and they say, you know what? We got a play for you. Where do they go to? Quarterback draw. They love to go to some big moments. And Jason Kelsey, you'll see him in the middle here. He's going to come out, make a big block on Dotson. Okay. And that, with you all out blitz, people lose their rush lane integrities. They move upfield quickly. Eagles love to call this play in big moments. Hurts is great at running it. And they got so many other things to defend <laughs> that they def if you forget the middle of the field, and then he just runs in for an easy touchdown. Listen, Eagles, the last four games, they've been down at the half, and they still find a way <laughs> to win all four of those. It was a great one. All right, coming up, the Chiefs get back on the winning track. Uh, they take control of the AFC South. But first, let's sing along and enjoy the extra spacious first ever Grand Highlander Toyota, the official automotive partner of the NFL. The Chiefs, they were able to bounce back in Vegas against the Raiders. Yes, they were. They're de struggled early. They got down 14 nothing, but it's like it gave the green light for Mahomes to be aggressive <laughs> and throw the ball around, and they might have found his go-to receiver other than Kelsey and Rashi Rice. Yeah, he had 107 yards receiving. How about the Jaguars taking control of the AFC South? This was back and forth, and Amendola comes in here trying to tie it to go to overtime and do it. That's a bone crusher loss for Houston. They fought, though. They fought. It was a good game. Great game. Yeah. Doink, no good. All right. Meanwhile, in the AFC North, the Steelers put up over 400 yards in their first game since firing offensive coordinator Matt Canada. But a couple of injuries we see for the Browns, Florio. 
Yeah, Dorian Thompson Robinson, a quarterback, suffered a concussion on a big hit from Baron Browning. If he can't play next week at the Rams, it'll be PJ Walker or maybe Joe Flacco. And Miles Garrett felt a pop in his left shoulder, left arm in a sling after the game. More coverage at ProFootballTalk.com. All right, we'll keep an eye on all those injuries with PFT for the latest. We've got the second half coming your way in SoFi next. This has been the Toyota Halftime. Let's go places.